Yo, 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 what is up, Fight Haggis? It's your boy, Green Sonic Spin Dash 237, back at you again with another legit game review. Today I joined the KKK because I hate niggas. The devs are fucking retard. Let's just get that out of the way real quick. Establish that one. Look, I already made a video shitting on a dev for 10 minutes and then only talking about the game for 5. In my defense, the game was intolerable fucking garbage, and I was trying to stay under that sweet two hour mark so I could not give my money to a paedophile. Hi Jason. Does Jason strike videos his name isn't in? I guess I can find out. Maldivious Fig Tree. Sounds like a fucking Harry Potter spell, it's just some paedophile's fake gay furry name. So I'll just breeze through this dev so I can talk about video games on this video game channel that only talks about video games. He's obsessed with race and calling things racist. And not in the intellectual leftist way where there is a reason, like cows are racist, because in 1802 a cow shot on a slave's face and the white man observed it, painted it to eternalise the moment and then printed it on the birth certificate of every black child to remind them of the bloodline's trauma. He just calls things racist, which does make sense because he is black. And if there is one thing you can count on a black person for, it's calling things racist. They won't do it on time, but they'll do it. One problem though, he isn't black. You ain't black. I don't know why he's doing this, it isn't a joke. He's genuinely masquerading as a black person. I guess it's a form of Omega White self-hatred, but we have this archive of staff at Trenion Games. I've forgotten what the name was and I'm not looking it up, so I'm just going to call it Trenion. If I'm very wrong, I honestly do not give a shit. Now, Mr. Black worked at Trenion Games. Here he is. Wow. Very black. He is, in fact, the palest one. Nigga, you white. We also have pictures of him, but that's less fun. He is actually keen, though. I don't know how to say this. But I love you, Blossom. Oh golly, I'm only eight years old. Our love is forbidden everywhere except for Istanbul. I don't care. Kiss me here. Kiss me right now. And I would gladly welcome this cracker as a brother. Because he looked upon the audience he cultivated and pondered to himself. Damn, nigger. I hate them. This led him to end the series with a game that had a Palestinian sex slave ending. Rape is good. And a feet ending. Kill yourself. How bad is the audience? This is the audience. What is this? There are about 15 different textures just slapped onto it. Are Indians down that bad they jack off to this? The tits aren't even round, I can see the straight lines. They've also just clearly been slapped onto the model. It's the VTuber equivalent of drawing two crude circles on a stick man. This is also definitely a man. If we talk to it, it makes noises? Yeah, there's a man. Huge cock detected. No amount of baby voice is hiding that ball field voice. So the game. How did we get to Palestinian rape slaves? The first game, you fucking retard. And I shall not dwell deeper. Because fuck that shit. I'm not watching any Tranime. Put a Nazi in it, maybe. This shit, peak. This shit, rather kill myself. Class of All 9 is a very interesting game. And by that, I mean a very shitty game. It is desperately trying to be one of the cool kids, critiquing the genre it is a part of. Completely missing the part where you need to build up the rug pull and just immediately falls at the first hurdle. The entire game is repeatedly screeching, Stereotypical VN and the overplayed tropes within are bad. I agree. <laughs> However, I just expressed that point in a sentence. This entire game is that. If everything is subversive, nothing is subversive. And it's also not very subversive to have every teacher be a paedophile. The game would do fine as a shitpost, but once you have the knowledge of who the dev is, and how he views the game, it becomes insufferable. The game is a base level critique that takes a hammer and repeatedly smashes it into the genre, but the dev views Class of 09 as the meticulous use of a scalpel to dissect the genre. The dissection being akin to this. Hello, female name. I like to cut myself. Want to friend? I also cut myself because my mom beats me and I use it as a coping mechanism. Wow, you are queer and have issues. Hello. Want to dare? Kill yourself. Three months later. I love crack. And it's not like this is uncharted territory. Doki Doki already did this. 
and it worked because it didn't immediately start with this nigger necking. You tried to make a critique of power fantasies that appeal to incels. But you fucked up so badly that you just made a power fantasy that appeals to incels. I mean femcells. Uh, <laughs> femcells. But how do playthroughs work? At first I decided to play the game making the choices I would actually make. This led to me being raped and killing myself. Very true. The next time I ratted on a guy for distributing drugs, which was never brought up again, did a white supremacist photo shoot, that was never brought up again, and encountered three out of three teachers or pedophiles. Because a joke only gets better when it's repeated constantly. Like when the teenage girls make the 57th comment about wanting to kill themselves. Someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Comedy game. You do realise being subversive doesn't just mean shitty writing. I know Evangelion kind of made a lot of people think that, but no, that shit's just shit. Corpse even mold, I just wanted to see a robot punch things. And you can't claim the end of Evangelion is the anime. The anime was whatever the fuck that garbage was at the end. You don't get to just insert a movie into the anime and pretend the anime ended wasn't fucking garbage. Asuka's also best girl. I thought about going to play through the game more times to have literally anything to say in this video, but then I looked at the reviews and realised if I continued playing this shit, I would become a tranny and then actually kill myself. I revoked the dev's Kino status, his game was nearly as bad as Heartbound, but I will promptly give it back, because he used to bully autistic kids 20 years ago. Because you're a fucking autistic faggot. However, I will now remove it again, because he apologised for being a cunt 20 years ago, instead of just telling these faggots to fuck off. If it wasn't obvious by this image I'm using, I was really hoping in the time it would take me to make this video, he'd actually make the apology considering he is a 30 year old man who is having help make an apology and he's been working on this apology for over six days. Nope, apparently not. Nigga, just say you're not sorry. I pissed a bunch of people off, I don't give a shit. Us black people seething in the Tenkaichi video? I'm gonna make a fucking another one. I wanna piss them off again. The VTuber retards? I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna piss them off again. If you wanna bully autistic retards on the internet, you've cultivated the perfect audience to do that, nigga. Just start bullying them. I will also place the Colossal Faggot Badge, because apparently he is still actually bullying autistic kids when this nigga is in his 30s. I personally love scouting for boys. It's not I'm nice. I got a kid to have sex with his Xbox, I'm not even fucking with you. <laughs> I saw the video. It was cool shit. I saw the video.